Honourable Members, the Deputy Speaker. Good morning. This is actually a historical day for the Federation Chamber, so I'm going to begin with a brief statement before um, going on to constituent statements. But I'd like to formally recognise the 30th anniversary of the Federation Chamber, which is in two days' time. Uh, what was then known as the Main Committee met here for the first time on the 8th of June 1994 with the Deputy Speaker Harry Jenkins in the chair. In 1993, the Procedure Committee argued for the establishment of the Main Committee, noting that it would allow more legislation to be dealt with in a given number of days and enable more time to be given to individual bills. In February 1994, the House responded by amending standing orders to provide for a Main Committee. In those initial days, the Main Committee had more limited functions than it does now. Bills could be debated and considered in detail. Debate on committee and delegation reports having been presented in the House could be continued in this chamber. Legislation has been a primary focus throughout its history. To date, 1,570 bills have been referred to this chamber. And members have spent over 2,340 hours debating legislation here. However, since its inception, the role of this second chamber has continued to grow. From the introduction of members' three-minute statements in 1997 to becoming the venue for the grievance debate in 2008. Over time, it has also helped to increase the time available for private members' business. Since 2016, Mondays have been dedicated entirely to opportunities for private members. In February 2012, the House agreed to amend standing orders to change the main committee's name to the Federation Chamber, in recognition of the importance of the House's second chamber. As a parallel debating chamber, the Federation Chamber has made a significant contribution to managing the work of the House. It has been a way to trial procedures and has inspired other legislators to try new ways of working. The UK House of Commons looked closely at our model before establishing its own parallel debating chamber, the Westminster Hall. Today, on its 1,391st meeting since establishment, I say happy 30th birthday to the Federation Chamber. Thank you all for being here to celebrate such an important occasion. And I, uh, whilst off script, want to thank the 30 years of service provided by clerks at the table, attendants, and all of the members who preceded us, um, members of the public who've joined. It's often a little known fact that the Federation Chamber exists and it's important that we uh, celebrate what has been a very unique and successful Australian innovation in the way we do um, parliament and democracy here. So thank you for sharing in this special occasion. And on the